Hey everybody, playing X4 Foundation's Cradle Humanity, and today we're going to talk about Warfronts, aka Guild Missions. If you're new to the game, uh, these may be uh, kind of a uh, mystery to you. If you're uh, an expert at the game, probably not too much new in this one. I'm going to do a follow-up video of this where I really go through some details about how these war fronts work. But let's get started. So war fronts are, are kind of like a set of missions. You can find them under mission offers, and they're called guild mission offers. It's a weird name for it. In the code, they call them war fronts. Um, and most of the factions have these. The Tlati and... The Antigone, they have trading guild sets of missions instead, as they're a little different. But it always starts off with kind of this introductory mission, Terran versus Xenon. So, like I said, they're at war, Xenon are at war with everybody. If you're on the Argon side, you have Argon versus Xenon, and you have Argon, Argon versus Holy Order Paranid, HOP have their own, etc., but let's take, well, since we're playing Cradle Humanity, let's just take a look at this one. So, the community of planets, irresponsible in action in containing the Xenon, has once again demonstrated that soul can only be safe if the Terran Protectorate takes a proactive stance. We request that any citizen of the soul system report to their designated representative. Furthermore, we also welcome any individual from outside Seoul as long as they're able to prove capable. So you have to go talk to your Kiro Espo. I can't say that. So that's always kind of how these things start. It sends you to the representative of this war front, and they're at this defense station in the asteroid belt. So we will head over there. So why would you want to do these? Well, they are actual missions that are connected to how the war with the Xenon is going. So they're not just made up missions. Uh, they really have to do with the state of the war. And that's what I'll kind of get into in the next video about this topic. So they're not just fake missions. They do have some uh, basis in the reality of the game. You also are able to get more advanced rewards from these missions, especially seminars uh those rare pilot two seminars pilot three seminars pilot four seminars those often come from these sorts of missions these are Entering often more difficult belt. missions but uh we'll get into that it's worth noting that these missions usually become available when you reach a reputation of 10 with a faction they're not available before that. So once you prove your worth by getting that reputation, you'll get an invitation to come talk to this representative. Often it will be in the new message interface. It's down here, messages. See right here, we have a message from this uh, admiralty officer to come talk to them about joining the war against the Xenon. Okay, we've arrived at the station, so let's go talk to our contact. They will have an office, so the Xenon War Room is where we want to go. Nice office. Pilot. I'm here to help with the Xenon. Always good to see a new recruit. I am in charge of coordinating the Terran Protectorate's response to the Xenon threat. My priorities are twofold. To keep the Soul System safe from all harm and to direct the Intervention Corps towards the enemy holed up in the furthest reaches of the universe. The military would not have approached you if you weren't a friend of the Protectorate. Xenon forces are vast, so we are always in need of manpower. Since it is our mission to seek out all Xenon strongholds, our military campaigns regularly push into hostile territory far away from any possible support. Because of this, we can only recruit the most capable pilots. 
you will have to submit to a test. Oh, Your test. race and former affiliations do not matter as long as you swear allegiance to our cause. You will be granted the choice of many tasks, from combat deployments to construction work. What is available will depend on the current situation in the area. You will be paid as you complete your allotted tasks, and we may see fit to reward you further at the conclusion. All right, let's get started. Excellent. You will now find tasks related to our ongoing campaign against the Xenon in your mission interface. Okay, so we are all set up with them. Let's see what our tasks, the tasks we have available are. See, we got four in here. And like I mentioned, this is all based on how the war is going. There are many phases uh, to uh, wars between the factions. Sadly, there's no way to see that phase, and I don't want to mod this game because of uh, future venture changes I want to check out. But let's take a quick overview. These are kind of difficult rewards, but we have heavy construction operation, preemptive intervention in Matrix 598, which involves clearing the trail, hunting down Xenon ships, killing an AGI sympathizer, and hunting down more Xenon ships. But you can see the rewards here. So you, the final reward is up top, an exceptional weapon chamber, so that's used in ship modding. This step gets you 80k. Hunting down Xenon ships, this step gets you 612,000 credits. Kill the sympathizer gets you 306,000 credits. And then another hunting down gets you 388,000 credits and a high energy catalyst. So you can choose to do these missions. They will change after some certain amount of time. There's another preemptive intervention in Matrix 9. It is similar but different. So create a window of opportunity gets you a lot of I mean, this one gets you almost a million credits just for that mission. Now, completing them all gets you all these pieces of equipment. Hunting down Xenon ships gets you 1.3 million. Killing the Sympathizer. So this is this one's probably pretty difficult, though. So that you may be killing some a lot of ships or pretty advanced ships. And let's look at what the construction one looks like. So this one wants you to gather a fleet. These are pretty difficult. And I wish you could see what the requirements were, but you get a ship reward with a specialist with this with 2500 Nvidium with mods and 105 million credits for building a fleet for the uh Terran here. And finally, let's look at this one. So this one also, once you build a fleet, you get this Soyuz, Solus paint mod and 105 million credits. And then Remote Vanguard Station, you get 6 million credits for doing. Now, these are definitely more advanced, but you can see how they are pretty valuable. And like I said, the cool part is it all depends on the state of the war. If they're getting... Uh, beat down by the Xenon, you're going to see a lot of defensive-oriented tasks. If the, if the Terrans are on the offensive, you're going to see more offensive-oriented tasks, and so on. But like I said, I want to go through that more in detail in another video. I hope this was helpful to any new players out there. It's definitely worth getting involved, but remember, when they say hard, they are probably pretty hard. So take that into account. It doesn't hurt if you cancel or abandon it. it doesn't hurt your reputation all right that's it for this video thank you for watching have a great day